<laughs> Today is January, excuse me, February uh, 26, 2014. And uh, this is a litter of 10 sheep -a doodle puppies, if you can hear me. I think they're going to do their own narrating today. Uh, these are from Blazy, our AKC registered brown and white standard poodle. And our beautiful Yogi. <laughs> Come on, buddy. This is Arctic right here. Um, our beautiful Yogi, who is our old English sheep dog. Also um, handsome Yogi, I should say. Also AKC registered. Uh, full pedigrees on file for both. All right, and uh, they were born the 11th of January, 2014. We only have one girl unspoken for in this um, litter as far as not having been assigned, but at this point, since we've only got one person left to make their choice on our list, um, this girl may be available. So if you're interested in finding out more uh, about our puppies, please get in touch with us. This is Law Padoodle Kennel. It's L-A-W-P-D-O-O-D-L-E. Kennel, K E N N E L dot com is our website. And you can also email me at lpdk10608 at gmail.com. All right, now I'm going to attempt. <laughs> no way that uh, still shots are going to be done at this point. They're too active. Uh, this is actually Crystal, I believe, and she is the one that is available. And she's definitely speaking up and making her name known so that everybody realizes somebody needs to take me home. She has a beautiful Cleopatra eye on one side, as you can see, a uh, big patch on the other side. And she has the typical saddleback of a uh, Old English Sheepdog. She is absolutely gorgeous and a very sweet, sweet girl, very outgoing. Um, as you can see, very demanding and attention as well. Um, so she's not one that's going to ignore you, I guarantee you. She, she will love to be spoiled. All right, right here is Nippy. His daddy stopped by to see him yesterday. He lives nearby. And so this is Nippy, one of our boys. And he will be going home soon. Oh, now they're playing with the toys. That right there is Stormy. She's the girl that's going to actually stay here. Uh, she's about as, she's kind of vocal about her attention like her sister Crystal. She and Crystal are very, very much alike. Okay. Um, now, let's see. This one is Snowflake. She is an absolute doll baby. Looks like a little stuffed animal in the face. Now, she has already been assigned. Everybody except for Crystal has been assigned. So I'm just going to try and be able to go through and introduce you to everybody so everybody gets a chance to see their puppy. All right. Now, this is Snowy. I'm sorry. No, this is... Uh, this is... Um, oh... Fleecy, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is fleecy. I think you have. Do you have an orange collar? Well, they kind of been dropping their collars. No, this this is Snowy. I do apologize. Yeah, Fl Snowy is the one without the collar. So this is one of our females, and this is Snowy. All right, and I believe. Let's see, is fleecy have her collar still on? Yes, she does. This is fleecy. Okay, because she's got an orange collar. So right here is Miss Fleecy. Hi, baby girl. And hopefully as I do a wide shot here after introducing everybody individually, you'll be able to recognize your puppies so you can kind of get an idea of how they're interacting not only with me, but with each other. Okay, there's Snowflake. She's one of my ornery ones too, huh? When I say that, I say that with all affection. They are, they are ornery little puppies. They're fun little puppies. They will all go through the puppy stage. If you're not prepared for a puppy, I suggest trying to adopt an older pup, an older dog because puppies can be challenging, even the best. It's just like raising children. There are challenging moments and, um, you must be prepared to get through them and try to get through them properly. And we are here uh, for any advice. There's uh, groups that we can refer you to also that offer wonderful support for uh, issues and trials that you may go through during the challenging puppy t stages. Um, but we are always here to answer questions, so you can always get in touch with us. And um, we would appreciate hearing from you. And rather than hearing afterwards that uh, you may have had a problem and not had us help you try to address it. Okay. Um, now, whoops. Hey, puppy. I believe this is Blizzard. This is one of our boys, also assigned. Okay, and right there is Arctic. He's his uh, kind of look-alike brother. All right, so there is Arctic. Who's climbing up on my lap? This is, oh, this is... Um, Fleecy again. Hi, baby girl. She's very, very affectionate. One of our quieter puppies, too. 
Very, very sweet. Hi, Miss Fleecy. Yeah. Hi, buddy. And our escape artist, Mr. Arctic. <laughs> I've got a bigger barrier I can put up there to make it a little taller. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Huh? And then Snowy was going to join right in there with him, wasn't she? Okay, there is my girl, Stormy. Okay, she'll be staying here since my daughter has claimed our Sheba Doodle, who's almost three years old, Chessie. She's out of our very first litter back in 2011, but she has now become a WVU Mountaineer dog, and she stays at college with my daughter and her roommates, and she is a very, very good dog. She's excellent for uh, an excellent apartment doggy, <laughs> considering the fact she was raised here and everything else. It's amazing how she transitioned, but... She's just really good. She's laid back. She's wonderfully behaved, even when the kids aren't there. And um, she doesn't know a stranger. So she's a really, really good girl. Hey. Now this is Icy. This is our one girl, the only girl in the litter that has a blue eye. So there is Miss Icy. Um, I think this is, is this Polar? Yes, this is my little boy Polar. Here you go. This is Polar. He's the smallest one in the litter, but not by much. He looks a lot, very similar to uh, his one sister, um, Snowflake. And somebody's over there being good about using the potty. Yes, let's see, who is that? Uh, that's actually our girl that is available. That's Crystal. Yep, and she's using the potty. Nice hard poopy. <laughs> Not to be graphic, but that is what we aim for. Uh, sometimes during the stress of transition, they can have a little bit of loose stool as they go home. But uh, here we aim to keep things nice and solid. We do re recommend that you do uh, take a stool sample into your vet for your first visit just to be sure everything is okay. And do not change the food drastically within the first few weeks because they are used to being on a certain type of food that we started on them from the time they ate their first solid food and their tummies are very, very sensitive uh, at, at such a young age when their immune system is not fully developed. So a sudden change, even mixing with their food at this young age is not a very good idea. Um, just wait until they get a little bit older and they can withstand the change a little bit better as they get older. Okay, and as we rebuild our new website here over the next few weeks um, following tax season and my mother's surgery, we do, uh, will try and share some of these tips as well on our new website so that everybody can have a little bit more information at their fingertips. We used to have a lot more information on our website, but after uh, it kind of went kaplooky on us back in November. We haven't been able to rebuild it as it had been because it is a very, very old software program. Unfortunately, it's not well compatible with mobile units either. So we're going to dump it and try to start from scratch, which is a challenge in itself. So just bear with us, be patient, and never hesitate to email us, lpdk10608 at gmail.com. Um, if you have any questions, you can also call us, of course, at 304-745-5878. Uh, catching us by phone is a little bit more challenging, um, but uh, uh, you can certainly try and give us a try. I do tend to, we don't have cell service at our home. Uh, we only have a landline, and I do often forget, since our voicemail is through the phone service, I oftentimes forget to check it on a regular basis. I should be better about it, but I hate to say it. Um, I'm running in a few different directions with puppies. Yes, they take my priority. Yes, they do. They're priority. They come first before anything, don't they? Huh? That's my kids. <laughs> my kids are out of the home and and uh, on their own. So, but fortunately, I get to see them here and there. Neither one of them are too far away. I sure do miss them. See, so you guys have helped me through empty nesting, huh? Yep. Yep. Okay, there is Crystal. This is Crystal again, the one that is, is still unspoken for. All right, I hope I didn't miss anybody. I don't know why I feel like I have. Um, this one, of course, is Snowflake. And let's see. Oh, this one here is Snow. Uh, no, this is, this is um, Fleecy. I have four of them that look very much alike. Okay. Here again is Icy with the blue eye. And there is Dipper. 
excuse me, not dipper, nipper. <laughs> I have a dipper in the other letter. This is nipper. If I, nippy, not nipper. And actually he's been renamed Baloo. So we just call you Baloo, huh? Baloo, yeah. So you were nippy and now you're Baloo, okay? Oh, look at him playing with the toy. That is Icy, and I think that is Blizzard. Let's see. Their coats are getting so thick it's hard to see their collars. Yeah, that's Blizzard. See, that's Blizzard, yeah. So Icy and Blizzard were playing together. There's Snowy, and there is um, Fleecy. Yeah, hello. And here, of course, is Crystal once again trying to reintroduce herself and say, "Somebody pick me, pick me." All right. So once again, this is a litter born on January 11th, 2014, of Sheepadoodles, and they will be ready to go here. I believe the first day they're available is the 8th of January. I know we've got appointments uh, already scheduled for that day. So if you haven't made your appointment or discussed delivery um, and other options with us, please do get in touch with us if you've already got your puppy assigned to us as we are noting those um, dates and deliveries now so that we can coordinate between them and our surprise litter with Naomi. We've got a lot of puppies to coordinate to get home and our last Labradoodle litter. So. Um, Please do get in touch with us as soon as possible to let us know uh, when you might want to stop by and pick up your puppy. And uh, we'll do everything we can to accommodate everyone. Okay. Once again, thank you for viewing our puppies. All right, Mr. Escape Artist. <laughs> okay, that's Arctic. Um, and we appreciate everything. Appreciate you viewing our puppies, and may God bless you.